Understand that the aircraft would like to descend as close as possible to idle thrust. It's more efficient, of course, burns less fuel, more comfortable for passengers, less noise in the cabin. And so we're always trying to descend with idle thrust. Ideally, we want to bring the thrust to idle and have the airplane under its own forward inertia and energy glide us all the way to the runway. That'd be the ideal situation. Granted, it never happens that way. But let's see how it does that, right? So the aircraft is going to descend from its top of descent point, which we call one step and it will make an idle descent all the way down to the first point that happens to have a constraint, right? So let's say that we have prep at 230, 23,000 feet, right? And this point here, this path, will be flown at idle thrust. It will be an idle thrust descent, right? And from prep, to energy, it will now be what we call a geo or a geometric path. Now, what is the difference? Idle path is exactly what it sounds like. Thrust is at idle. Geometric path is such that now my thrust will vary to maintain speed. Now, FMA recognition and modes that could possibly present in the auto thrust column specifically are very important that you have a good handle on that. If you don't, I would recommend visiting the auto flight review video course and there you will find what the various modes of the FMA or the flight mode enunciator are trying to tell you. If you were to descend right on time, you would get idle thrust from the top of descent point. However, if you were to begin descending even slightly before the top of descent point, the aircraft would actually descend at a rate of 1,000 feet per minute until intercepting the idle path. Let me show you what that would look like, all right? So let's say, here we are, we're at 33,000 feet. Okay, I'm gonna back us up just a bit here. If you started down here, for example, not at our 115 nautical mile mark, but let's say maybe you started down around 120 miles, yeah? The airplane would start on down at a rate of descent equivalent to 1,000 feet per minute. And the aircraft would enter speed mode. The auto thrust system specifically would enter speed mode. What that means is that thrust will vary to maintain speed. Now, of course, thrust here will be variable because our rate of descent cannot exceed 1,000 feet per minute. As a result of having a fixed rate of descent, the only thing that could then adjust our speed would be a variable thrust setting. Hence the reason you will get speed mode or maybe mock in the FMA. Now, you're going to maintain this 1,000 feet per minute until you touch the idle descent path, until you cross with the idle descent path. You will have a lightning bolt shape on your navigation display to indicate that you are now in contact or you have intercepted the idle path. Once you reach that idle path descent point, you will notice your FMA change to thrust idle, thrust idle, and now you are truly on the idle descent path to the first constraint. Notice we said prep is the first constraint, and in addition to that, we had a speed restriction of 280 knots. So all the way down from back here, I've started at 280, down 1,000 feet per minute, I hit the idle descent point, Thrust goes to idle, the nose pitch is over in order to maintain the 280 knots. And now I'm gonna reach this point prep at 280, 230, and this will conclude the idle path. That is the end of the idle path.